Operation. You know that game? Yeah, I love the game. And and it took a little bit of skill, but if you took the wrong body part out or you hit the side, the thing would go buzz. <laughs> That is no longer the end trend. You know what it is? Kids are using apps that simulate plastic surgery. Mm. Cosmetic surgery apps, they literally simulate nose jobs, facelifts, even liposuction, specifically targeting young children. A lot of them are free. They're, they're marketed to these young kids, and apparently they're quite popular. Scary. I would have loved this game. Uh, <laughs> you would have been good. Too, well, hopefully so, but oh. I mean, I know what people are going to say. They're going to, oh, it's, it's too much about how you look, and it's too easy to, to, to buy into, oh, we can change this, we can tweak that. But it's all in fun. It's like saying that, that all Barbie dolls are bad for, for oh, girls. I, I don't an know, important Drew. time for these kids to be developing self-esteem and being kind of appreciating their different different looks, different appearances. I mean, just loving themselves for who they are. And I, when and I was I a kid, I was obsessed with my big nose. Well, <laughs> I, I, agree, I agree with you there, but it can be a fun thing, too. I mean, I can see where it can go awry and get in somebody's head, but it's all in fun. I want to ask you, Drew, if you think that as a plastic surgeon, because you're in the operating room every day, you're surrounded by your colleagues, do you maybe become desensitized to it? Because that's your livelihood, that's your life. I look at this trend and it frightens me. I was frightened even coming out to LA nine years ago to start hosting this show because I knew plastic surgery was so predominant out here. Now I'm in the nine years since I started hosting the show, plastic surgery has become ever more popular. It's been starting at ever younger ages. And I I do worry that this is you're gonna have ten year old girls saying, Mommy, well, it, I want yeah, it bigger can definitely boobs. go in a bad direction where it's what's next, what what's next that you're not happy with any part of your body. But for most people that is not the case. That they have my ears stick out a little or I don't like the bump on my nose. They change that. They feel better about themselves. They go on with their lives happier, successful people. But Drew, we don't want to put you out of business. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> we want plastic surgeons to keep right. working, but you have to acknowledge that this can be a dangerous trend for young girls who are already suffering from low self-esteem. They're already seeing these images of the perfect body, the perfect girl, and if they don't fit that, they can uh, become... Well, I, I can see it, that if you have your app, oh, I can just do a little light bulb when it's gone. <laughs> Why can't I do that on myself? Yeah. I see that. Okay, but, great. But, that's, but I just that's wanted you to acknowledge that. I acknowledge that, but that's where I think a little parental guidance comes in. And my Drew, kids didn't plastic, have my kids plastic. didn't have this app. My kids did grow up though, playing with breast implants, playing with surgical <laughs> drains. They had Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. They would clamp them with the coker clamps and the cryos. And, okay, okay, my kids but, play but, with books, Drew. Okay, well that's. <laughs> That's yeah, okay. I, I grew up in a home. My dad was a plastic surgeon, and I really, really? I, I was exposed to it early, and I really did think that my nose was too big, and I was waiting for the right time, and then I grew into it. I grew into my yeah. nose. I'm kind of grew you, into doctor. my Good for you. Well, Good for you. So would you be okay if your kids were using these apps? I'd be worried. I'd be really concerned about the message that it's sending to them, Travis, and, and I'd want to, you talked about that parental supervision, I'd want to know, and i want to have conversations with them, and I'd want to reinforce how beautiful they are, how perfect they right. are, how wonderful they yes. are, so that they don't yes. feel the need I would not be to get okay. surgery yeah. at 16. I mean, operation, that's a fun game. That's not about achieving perfection and insecurity. I know it isn't. I know it, it isn't. But for is somebody who, who's looking for a game and something surgical, something scientific. Drew, the app, the plastic <laughs> surgery simulator app description reads, every girl dreams of a delicate face and stunning figure. That, <laughs> okay, we can Like I said, you need some good parental guidance there. <laughs>